It's like, oh, I feel a tug, and then a fish rockets out of the water, and we're like, it's a bat! Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, inspiring real women with a passion for fishing and the outdoors to go get their adventure on. Now, here's your fearless host, Angie Scott. All right, everyone, welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast. I'm your host, Angie Scott. I am back up here at Lake Erie with Mark One Sport Fishing. We're out on the boat right now. We just had wrapped up a great day two filming for Midwest Outdoors. So let me just introduce real quick who all we've got in the boat with us, and then we're just going to kind of do a quick recap of the last couple days. We've been smallmouth fishing, which is different than what we did last time when we were up here, and I'll let the captain kind of explain what we were doing. But I'm here with, again, same crew. Brittany Howard is with us. Tiffany Minton, Ryan Collins from Midwest Outdoors, Dana Scott, and of course, Captain Mark Kalick. Mark, yep. talk about what we've been doing the last couple days. Well, first of all, thanks, girls. I, t- I keep complimenting you, and I want to say it out here. You're hard fisher women, and I tell you what, man, you're a pleasure. I'm going to miss you. You know, two times in a month, it's been a pleasure. So thank you very much. And like I said, we wanted to mix it up this time and do something a little different, so we did the bass fishing. And, um, you know, we do like the Canadian side a little better for our combo trips over there. And, of course, with the border being closed, we did it in Ohio and did an outstanding job. We really caught a lot of nice bass yesterday. And uh, we used a soft crawl rig, and we were working in anywhere from 10 to 14 feet of water. This time of the year, the fish are a little scattered, so we look for drifting areas that we could go over a long plateau and also for some off-colored water. That brings in the bait, and that brings in the fish. So we were able to find a couple spots yesterday. Girls worked hard, and then we got in there and ground out a beautiful, beautiful day of fish. We threw them all back. We saved a few for the Bay's Edge Retirement Home over there to take (laughs) over. But uh, other than that, today we went down east and gambled on a big fish, and Brittany got a big one for us. But uh, we decided to pull off on the bass because, you know, we do throw them back up here. We we encourage it. So we wanted to send you home with some walleyes. And what a bang-up afternoon here. We ended up catching dozen 15 walleyes for you four girls to take home so it's a great way to end the trip and uh, again thank you very much thank you mark you know we got some more walleye to add to our freezers back home so we're excited about that but uh want to talk about the smallmouth fishing um Brittany, what was your experience like catching these fish you know where i'm from i mostly fish you know person breeze and the harvest for smallmouth, and I'm happy if I get a two pound smallmouth. Out here, four pounds seems to be the average. So I mean, I'm excited, and also fighting a fish that, that, that is that strong is so much fun. And holding a fish that is that strong, <laughs> we'll saw your thumb off. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was cool, I mean, you catch these things, and they just come flying right up to the surface. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> and they're jumping out of the water before Sometimes before you even knew you had a fish on, you know, you set the hook and all of a sudden this fish is flying out of the water. It's, yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. It's like, oh, I feel a tug, and then a fish rockets out of the yeah. water, and we're like, it's a bass! <laughs> and I mean, today was a good day for uh, catching what we wanted to catch. Yep. No sheep's head. We got a couple yeah. early this morning, but yeah. after that they left us alone, which was nice. Yes. So there's still a good fight, but, you know, it's still a fish. Um, Tiff, did you get any smallmouth? Did I get any today? I don't know if I got any today, but I did definitely got one yesterday. That was really nice. Uh, they're really beautiful here, too. The markings on them oh, yeah. are really great to look at. Yeah. Um, so not only are you catching a really fun fish, but you're also catching a really beautiful fish. Um, yeah, and then she said uh, they left us alone today, although I think I'm probably the biggest fan of them in this boat. Just because I like to catch them. <laughs> they're fun. They are um, fun. They're you know, it's... It, it's the in-between time. It's a good fish to catch just because if you're out here all day, it can feel like a slog if you're not getting anything right. for a while. But it is fun when one jumps on the line. kind of reminds you what you're here to do, which is to fish. So I really like that about it. Um, so, yeah. And it's a good workout, too. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so, Ryan, talk a little bit about the show. Um, you've been out here filming us the last couple days. Uh, Midwest Outdoors. Been around for a long time. Um, yeah, yeah, long time. So... Uh, Midwest Outdoors TV show, uh, Mark One, sport fishing with Mark Kalick. Uh, he's a rider for Midwest Outdoors, Lake Erie 411. 
Um, so if you ever want to come up to Lake Erie with Mark, stay at Bay's Edge. Um, check out Midwest Outdoors, our magazine. Mark's got a great segment, our magazine, on our website. And then we've been up here filming with Mark uh, quite a few times in the last six months um, doing walleye and smallmouth fishing. And uh, we love working with Mark. He, he always puts us on fish up here. He's very knowledgeable on Lake Erie. Uh, and he always makes a great TV show. So, obviously, it takes a while to edit the shows and everything. Um, our first segment's already aired on TV, and that's on our YouTube channel. So, if you guys kind of want to check out um, what this is all about. And then, uh, you four girls, we were up here a couple weeks ago filming, and that TV show will air uh, here in just a little bit towards the end of the year. Um, this show right here will probably air either end of quarter four or the beginning of Q1. Um, but no, I, I love coming up here. I'm from Ohio, uh, southern Ohio, so our fishing's not near as good. But being able to, to be this close to Erie and come up and, and film with Midwest Outdoors with Mark and, and all of you and put together a great TV show, and uh, that's what Midwest Outdoors is all about, is getting out here and, and showing how to catch these fish in the Midwest, what to use, how to use it, and, and where to go. And, and Mark does a great job of that. And, and like Mark said, I... I've been fishing all my life, and, and watching you girls fish all the last four days, really, from last trip, it's it's really impressive. So, no, I, I had a great time. Yeah, thank you. Well, we'll look forward to everybody being able to see these episodes and be on YouTube, so everybody will be able to watch them. The Pursuit Channel, if you're not, if you don't live in the Midwest and don't have access to the networks that the show airs on, but um, it will be up on YouTube. Like I said, you'll get to see these beautiful smile mouth that we we're talking about today, and some really nice uh, casting for walleye like we did the first time we came up there did a little bit this afternoon dana you just caught a really nice one to wrap up the day i did it was so, awesome yeah so uh and then you you caught a, a catch you have never caught before a fish you've never caught before a perch perch yeah well and a large mouth bass as well oh yeah that's right you got a nice large nice mouth fish. yesterday yeah. very nice large yeah. mouth so i'm happy so a lot of fun everybody caught fish we all had a great time Highly recommend everybody checking out Bay's Edge Resort in Port Clinton, Ohio, and uh, hiring a guide to go out. Mark's got a lot of great captains in his fleet. Uh, if you're not comfortable casting, you control. It's, you got a lot of different options up here. So. Sorry. That's good. Thanks. And listen, thanks, girls. You know, like I told you last time, and I'm not just saying it, I want to end it with this, is that, you know, a lot of times a team in life, that's how you do it, whether you're in a bands whether you're anything in life and you know i'd miss if we as we do this hopefully again sometime one person that couldn't come back we got this little team and this fun we have and uh, thanks it's been a great time i love you guys man a lot of fun it's great man it's Thank great you. oh and you forgot we got a captain you got a captain oh yeah that's right ah, yeah, we got a catfish yep and we're yeah. all proud of you, Angie. Keep it up. Yeah. You're doing a yes. great job out there, man. Um, great, great job. So from us, you can't say it about yourself, but we can say it. You're the best. Thank you, and keep up the good work. We're looking for you down at ICAST. All right. Yeah, ICAST coming up next week, so everybody stay tuned. Thanks for listening.